Hello everybody, I am just Lance and I would like to welcome all of you back for another video. Anyways, as the title says, this is a gratitude shave. I've done a few of these in the past. In case you're new to the channel and haven't seen any of my gratitude shave videos, basically everything at least as much of everything that I can that I'm using in this shave are going to be items that were given to me by a subscriber or um, somebody that was close to me. <clears throat> me such as family members. Anyhow, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we are going to use. The razor was an early Christmas gift from my son. Um, my girlfriend picked it out, but he's six, so you know, um, if you got if you got kids and you're not a single parent, then or even if you are a single parent, you understand what I mean. But anyways, it is this. This is a Schick injector. As you can see, it's got quite a long handle. And in case you don't recognize it, it is the Type M, which means that, as you can see, that little knob there, it is adjustable. It adjusts is from 1 to 8 and quite a few settings in between each. I haven't learned the layout of the dial yet, so I asked my girlfriend to set it to... Um, about five and a half. I've used it all the way up on eight and it was a little bit more aggressive than I expected But it still gave a great shave. So we'll see You know if the shave is is better at five and a half Or how it feels at five and a half The soap I'm going to be using is I'm going to have to go ahead when I edit the video um, tomorrow or the next day I'll go ahead and don't sit there and go wow psychedelic man what's up with the lights I'll go ahead and I'll ask my girlfriend what this is tomorrow and then I'll go ahead and I'll put a little bit of it in because she's sleeping right now but it is a case shave works so it is a fougere with a bit of cherry with a, a cherry note in it Beautiful scented soap, and I got it from my friend Christian out in Victorville. The brush, you've seen it on the channel before. Um, I had a couple of different brushes from him that I could have chose, but I chose this one. This is a Maggert's 24 millimeter synthetic. As you can see, it's got the little, little, um, uh, Canadian maple leaf and it's like a brown marble and it's just a really really nice knot and then the splash I'm going to be using is one I've never used on this channel before and uh, got it from our friend Lisa for Christmas um, she's like a little sister to me and uh, she lives out in Menifee there down in Riverside and it is this Old Spice really really nice scent really just a really really nice scent so let's go ahead let's wet the brush let's load it up and we'll go ahead and um, get shaven I'll insert the name of the soap, me giving you guys the name of the soap right here. Hey guys, it's been a couple of days since I did the video, so I got a little bit of growth going on. Yesterday was Super Tuesday, so didn't have the time to do this part. But anyways, here we go. Got my handy dandy little recording device with the name of the soap and the scent notes on it. So let's go ahead and let's do it. The soap is... Cherry Fougere, and the scent notes are Cherry, Lavender, Jasmine, Rosewood, Oak Moss, and Vanilla. Anyways, that's the soap and the scent notes. Beautiful scent. Anyways, I'll return you to the video now. 
Anyway, if you deal with synthetics, you know you don't have to soak them. You just run them under the water really good, get them wet. Now I do have a new soap in the den. You might have went ahead and seen it in my last video, my 54321 favorite shaving products video. Um, called Petrichor that I won from Max Shaver. Max Schaefer. Let's start loading this case shave works up. Um, I'm going to do that in the next video. I'm thinking about doing something where it's a giveaway video. Not meaning I'm going to give something away, but stuff that I've went ahead and won in giveaways. Get a little bit of water. Yeah, I saw a video the other day by Trevor B. Um, he's he's basically deleted everything, closed up his channel, closed down his channel. Had did one last video. Um, deleted all of his Gmail accounts and he's going to be focusing on the family now um, which is nothing wrong with that uh, you know people that get into this YouTube thing they don't get into it for life there's some that's been around a while Ones like CDB. Um, oh wow, I forgot a shave towel, so grab a big towel here. Christopher David Bailey. Um, Kevy Shaves has been around a bit. Nick Shaves, he's kind of come back. Um, or he's coming back. Took a bit of a hiatus. Oh, got soap on my shirt. Carl's been around a bit. I'm not sure how long Justin the Red Island Shaver has been doing it. Um, Ken Serves, Paul H. Those guys have been doing videos for a bit. Geo Fat Boy. And those guys I just mentioned, except Carl. Um, they were some of the first ones I watched. I was watching CDB back during the um, TSE, traditional shaving evangelist days. You know. Nick Shays I found early on. Geo Fat Boy early on. So Mantic 59, of course, is as far as YouTubing about shaving. He's been doing it quite some time. Paul H. I think I mentioned. So, Sinatra Lennon, he's been doing it a while. So, rinse my hands. Clear the lip. Razor. Yeah, I really, really do enjoy these Schick injectors. Um, they made a pretty decent double edge, which I got one of those as well. Oh yeah, that's good. That feels nice at five and a half or so. 
If you've never used one of these injectors, give it a try. The cache works. The scent strength in the tub, it's pretty decent. Um, it really doesn't like come out and go, yeah, like hump day. But it's case shave works, they make an excellent, excellent soap. Um, it is vegan based. So if vegan based soaps is one of your requirements, because you know, if you're vegan, they make a good soap. Pretty reasonably priced. Free shave, not free shaving, free shipping. In the U.S., so the blade is a Schick injector blade. This is its second use, and. CD Shaven, Shaven Murphy. He, uh, used one that he bought from a friend. Not sure which type it was. I'm thinking of type F, maybe. Little bit right there. Right. Anyways, let me go ahead and rinse off. But he had never used an injector before, and he had asked a couple of questions, and or you know, I made a comment telling him a little bit about injector history he appreciated it you know um, i don't know everything about injectors i know a little bit about them you know i've got a type a repeater type g um the hydro magic 500 i'm not sure which type that was and this one so but as far as personal stuff as far as i'm concerned um my son, he's just getting over a, another frickin' ear infection. Um, yeah, an upper respiratory issue. And uh, he was one night sitting there crying out in pain, grabbing at his ear. And I thought at first, it was because he was clogged up because he had a sinus, one of his sinuses, he'd blow his nose and it just wouldn't do nothing. He'd make that kind of, that, and then that whistle. And I thought, okay, he's gotten, you know, pressure on it and it would just come and go. So the next day it was still bugging him and We went ahead and he didn't complain a lot about it because we was giving them children's Tylenol for pain and fever reducer and all that. He had a bit of a fever. Well, that night it got bad. We said, uh oh, time to go to the ER. And it turned out that, because we looked, we looked down in his ears best we could. My girlfriend did at least. His throat wasn't all red and inflamed and everything. and. Yeah, they got the equipment to look in the ears better. And um, they said, yeah, he's got a bad ear infection, a deep ear infection that's actually bulging out the eardrums. And one had like little blisters looking things on it, which meant that it was close to rupturing, I guess. So, they put him on amoxicillin, liquid amoxicillin, 
three times a day, 10, 10, 30 cc's of it a day, so 10 cc's a shot. So, but he's getting a lot better. He's back in school. So he's good there. Um, but me, myself, I'm in the process with the doctor, got the paperwork filled out, and this summer, I plan on going, well, it'll probably be this summer for the classes, because uh, I told him, said, uh, summertime please, but... Once the paperwork's done and turned in, I'll send it off to Guide Dogs for the Blind up in San Rafael, California, and then they'll either send me to Oregon, where I got my last guide, Herbie, or they'll send me to the or to the San Rafael campus. So I'm getting another guide dog. One moment. So I'm looking really, really forward to that. Um, the only, only request I'm gonna have of them is make sure it's uh, another male because ain't got nothing against female dogs. So I'm not, a, I'm not a puppy dog chauvinist or anything. It's just Herbie was a male or female doggy. She got along with them really good. And she's a bit older. Well, she's almost two now. And I don't want her to feel threatened by another female dog coming in the house, so. I'll either come home with a black lab, a yellow lab, a golden retriever, or a cross between the retriever, the golden retriever, and one of the, either the black or yellow lab breed, so. They don't train German Shepherds or Boxers or Pit Bulls or Great Danes or anything like that. Just the three breeds and the Golden Retriever, Black and Yellow Abs and then occasionally they crossbreed a Golden Retriever with one of the types of Labs. So don't know what I'm going to get yet so because They need to come and do an in-home thing and I'll go out on Juno, which is where, it's a generic name for a guide dog, which is where basically a trainer, field rep, who's also a trainer, comes out and uh, has a rig set up where Basically, it's a guide dog harness, but it's set to where they can hold on to it and uh, They mimic the movements against the grain Yeah, this razor is really really smooth and this soap is great great residual slickness Nice cushion feels really good on the face um, Just outstanding soap Ara's the stallion would say, excellent size. Yeah, yeah, gonna have a little clean up there. But, um, they do Juno because, you know, like with Herbie, I'd say, Herbie left and give him a left, a hand signal to go left. Herbie right, give him a signal to go right with my hand. Herbie forward, stuff like that. So, they're gonna wanna see that I'm still got my shit together, so to speak, on um, working the guide. So. I miss having a guide, that's for sure. Cause I can get around just fine with a white cane. Had no trouble with them. Quite, quite good at 
using white cane, which you have to be to get a guide dog day. Just don't give them to anybody because if you suck at cane, which your, if your cane skills suck, then you're not going to transition well for a guide because of your knowledge of going. So, anyways, that's the third pass. Let's see how it feels. Oh, yeah. Feels good. Nice. Oh, missed a little spot right there. Still got some soap on it, too. So. I don't quite foresee any problems with getting a new guide. And once I do, then... I'll, uh, have that extra bit of freedom. Anyways, so let's see. Oh, a little bit right there. Can't do the one, two, three pickup time, baby, because that's Paul H's spiel. So, yep, I've used this soap once before, or at least this, this tub, I've used K-Shave works plenty of times, um, from the hump day, but yeah, this is very, very good. Hands down, Case Shave Works is a top tier soap. I don't care what, you know, if anybody disagrees with me, their formula is outstanding. All right. There. All right. That's the shave. I'm going to go ahead and rinse off and then come back and hit, hit it with the alum. Old Spice alum stick. Got a nice little plastic screw top. This is wonderful for traveling. Wet the lock. Uh, not bad. No last thing. There's a little spots where it's like, woohoo, right here. Let that dry, or let that you know, sit for a minute. Anyways, guys, uh, I'll see you back here for the post. Yeah, it was a really good shave, guys. Um, Schick Injector Type M. Adjustable in about five and a half. Damn, that's pretty much the sweet spot with that razor. At least tonight it was. Um, gotta trim my mustache. I got a couple of hairs trying to hook under my lip. Yeah, I went ahead and thought about trying back the Fu Manchu, but when you're blind, it's a pain in the ass to go ahead and keep those lines coming down straight. So I'll just go with the top lip stash. Anyways, but my head, yeah, it's smooth. Oh, right there, right there. Missed a spot. Ah, um, oh, darn it. I want to use the pre-shave cube I got from Dennis as well, but I forgot to. Damn it. Oh, well. Um, shave went great. Yeah. My, my face, close, smooth. Nice thing about injectors is you get these little spots by your ears for the most part. That's yeah, still got a little tough there. A little tough there. Yeah, I'll take my beard mustache trimmer and clean that up. But, uh, yeah, my head, 99% BBS. 
I'd, I'd say it qualifies as a damn fine shave, but the face is great. Post shave on case shave works is always good. Anyways, let's move on to the post. Of course, which Dickinson's T Dickinson's witch hazel, which I got hooked on this stuff thanks to Dennis, you enabler. Uh, <laughs> Um, it really feels good for the skin. It's got a little alcohol in it, so it's got a bit of a sting, but not bad. A little more. Dennis had said, commented on that 54321 video, that he hopes this is me coming back. You know, that, that was my comeback, basically my comeback to do more videos. And yeah, it is. Um, it is. I missed, I missed doing videos for you guys and interacting with all of you on the, the comments and everything. The aftershave bomb. Mm, yeah, let's go with Sterling's Arcadia. I got from Dennis as well. I do need to get another bottle of Nivea for men shaving balm. Or Nivea shave balm, after shave balm. And get another bottle of that Dickinson's. It's getting mighty low. Um, This Sterling Balm kind of feels greasy when it goes on, but it absorbs into the skin really quick and that oiliness is gone. I mean, it's just goes away. Yeah, that feels good. That feels really good. Oops, I was going to use this balm, which I got from my girlfriend, but I didn't think about it. Bummer. Now, time for the Old Spice. Give it a good shake. I do miss... I remember when they were, like, kind of skinnier and taller, and they were, like, uh ceramic bottles the restrictor ain't the best on it so you gotta be kind of careful Ooh, yeah when you pour or else you get too much but you know I also got the, um, a, uh, EDT Old Spice Spray, which I forgot to grab to show you guys, but it was, uh, I got along with this from our friend Lisa, well, our friends Lisa and Tracy ended up getting me this aftershave, the perfume, or the EDT and a couple of different Old Spice um, deodorants. So anyways, that was the shave. Thank you all for spending time with me. Um, I'm now getting back into watching videos. Um, Johan, if you see this, I saw your last video, or last couple, I just was kind of, you know, didn't have time to comment, I was kind of, you know, pressed for time, um, watched a shave or two of Jill's, same thing, Carl, he's in a new shaved in because he's got a new apartment, Kiefer, see Kiefer, and, um, so yeah, but, anyways, so, 
I'll see y'all later in the next video. I hope y'all have a good one. Um, hope you get some great mail calls, get some great shaves, and I will see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.